Okay then, let's... <laughs> oh god. Hello once again everyone and welcome to the lore series episode 54. Um, as you know, we're not gonna tackle any of the lore thing today, nor we did in the last episode. And... Well, this is uh, just like last episode, a little bit of a diversion episode. Although I would really appreciate that you stay for this one. <clears throat> I'm gonna talk about a few things that are important for the upcoming ep episodes. Uh, and you will be lucky enough to hear what I have to say about those if you watch the video, because it's gonna be scattered all over there, randomly over the video. But, nonetheless, let me begin. So, <clears throat> what am I doing? Why am I not just doing the whole thing with the, the, uh, the, the quest that we set to do? Well, I wanna talk about a few things uh, today, really. I wanna talk about a few things. First of all, um, I have been pondering a lot how to begin the video, uh, uh, how to start this video really. I, I, I could not do it uh, because a lot of things about to happen. Uh, that is in next episode, not not today. Today we are free to relax a little bit, lads. Um, so a few things. This Quasit uh, has made his way th uh, through it with us. I don't know. He's not going, it seems. Now, I did a little bit of research on Jenna. She um, doesn't have much to her, sadly. There is not much to see. What I want to do today before begin, and I think I'm going to be doing that a lot lately. I just want to, to talk to a few characters. First of all, I want to talk to the cat again. Because I got no clue what's going on here. Look at me. That's just, uh, that's just what he's. Yeah, he doesn't say anything else. Damn. What about you? I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good. I promise. Well, yeah. Uh, I need a little bit of research, as I said, and some people uh, managed to make Jenna um, sell them. Food, sell them soup, I think. It turns out Jenna does not exist. Uh, she exists merely as a failsafe for the whole Orin kidnapping a people situation. Right. Uh, then, a few things we want to get from here. Uh, I don't know who has the... The Legend of Answer. Also, this is a letter to Koga. I don't think we ever read that. So, that's we are stepping into end game material. So, the last episodes. Uh, let, let me make you a recount. We finished Shadowheart storyline. We finished a Star Wars storyline. Our Paladin storyline is also uh, finished in a way. Um. That would be Will, Karlak, Lacell, Left, and just I'm letting you know, the videos regarding that side uh, of things will be very intense and full of stuff. It's been very, um, I don't know how to say, vexing, trying to come up with those videos. I want to talk to Withers. Thou hast now a bosom companion. Take care that thou art not distracted on my quest, seeking the comforts of the flesh. Mm, yeah. He usually speaks like that uh, about Lysel. Recall that in time, all becomes dust and bone. Right. Let's talk to Astarion. Well done again on besting Baal and all that. It was very twee. What? Especially the part where that poor excuse for a skeleton waved his magic wand and made it all better. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh... 
Yes, you were so very scary. <laughs> I knew you had that sweet heart all along. I was alarmed by you sometimes, scandalized even. But somehow, by your side, I still only ever saw you. Ah, that's very cool. That's a um, reminiscence from the lines uh, on his storyline, if you guys watch that. Very well. Today's gonna be an episode like this, lads. Uh, just uh, I'm letting you know. Probably gonna have timestamps. Whatever happens next, be sure that I will document it all as accurately as possible. Oh, we can still train with him. You know, I love those. Mm. Very well. What do you have to say? Hey, soldier. Well, the, uh, these whole things are dialogue introductions that you probably you guys probably know already, so I'm not gonna go through those. I just wanna see if there's anything anything regarding what's coming. But yeah, what we do have to do, uh, and I'm gonna say that it's talk to Will and whatnot. I apologize that the pace of this video is gonna be this uh, like this. It's uh, quickly going to change. Trust me. But I do want to talk about a few things before beginning. So making this series has been uh, quite a task. I made sure to make uh, all the research needed. I made sure to put uh, the effort on, and I am I truly glad of how it panned out because it. Uh, in reality, this is nothing but a love letter to my favorite game ever. Our camp looks like a, like a shopping mall. It's full of people. But yeah, I don't know if I want to make a video on that specifically. I do have to. Um, Get going with the series right away. Yeah, I don't even know how to express myself. Let's just begin, shall we? I want to explain you the movie, lads. Let's go back at it. I be I was in a little bit of a trance for some reason. I explained you the movie, lads. So, for those of you who didn't watch um, episode thirteen or fourteen, I think it is with uh, Auntie Ethel. I think this is the house, yeah. In this house, there is Marina, that's her husband Connor, and a guild of people. So, if you didn't watch that video, uh, Auntie Ethel was the hag in uh, Act One, all the all the way back. So, uh, Marina was pregnant. Connor died. Uh, obviously, she was uh, like in despair, obviously, and she resorted to the hag to. Auntie Ethel, in order to bring him back, and for that, she was asked her baby, of course. And the thing is, we've uh, come to find out here in Act Three, all the way up to the end, that is Auntie Ethel still alive. If you guys don't know, uh, we best threat in combat, and we let we let her go. Because she did say that hags do not really die. They cannot die. When they die, they re revive somehow and they get stronger even. That's how we got this thing, which is a plus one on any um, stat that we want. That's where we got 23 strength. Um, and yeah, they cannot die. That's why in last episode we actually let her flee. 
The thing is, and I did not remember at the time, we got a few things from the failsafe on that house. A hunter's guide to the hive. And with that, we've been given a recipe. So we go to alchemy, we go to grenades, we got this. The hag's pain. In the lab of Prismere, uh, where fair Sibina reigns, they had their share of hack troubles. Oh yes, they had it in spades. Hacks have a special predilection for children, and the power inherited to, uh, to innocence disrupting one in their consumptions, or the power could be cataclysm for the hack. So, the way that the hacks get pregnant apparently is by eating them kids, and that's how they make hacks. So you have to eat it, and then you wait, and then you have a hack, new hack. So when it, in essence, we got a lot, and this thing we got from the safe, from the fail safe, um, ashes of dry fake flowers. So this will make the hack puke the children, the child. Um, here. So now, knowing that, we can go and fight. Uh, Marina put together this whole group of people who has been... Um, they've been wronged by a hag. And here's Marina with Connor, which is her husband. I will encourage you to watch the episode. It's, it's fairly short, shorter than most. But in any case... Let's get going. It's been enough rattling for me today. I don't even know how I'm gonna edit or cut the whole beginning because I don't think it's a good idea to leave it there. But yeah, lads, a few things I want to say. It's uh, just be ready. Starting on next episode, things are gonna get real fucking intense and. I, I, I have a bittersweet feeling. I have a bittersweet feeling because it's it feels weird. I don't want it to end. This is the place where she was the, uh, the blushing mermaid. Oh, Halcyn would have, would not like this place. Right. So this is where she was. And then she disappears, she uh, vanished. What a nice song. However, we did find this place down here. This is the basement, this is where they got all the all them things. Uh, okay, we got that door. Got gold here. Right, this place looks weird. But any, anyway, this seems to be a uh, fake wall. Let's get back. I wonder if we can take the quasi to like to the end of everything. There is work to do. Right. No one stopped me yet. Just waiting until <laughs> until the fire goes out, because okay. Wait, what? Oh, it's not a fake wall. Very well then. We got this door. Wait, where are we? Oh, ah, oh, this is just the other side of the tavern. Okay, let's see. This place looks fa uh, promising. Okay, there it is. That's the one. You think you can fool me, Ethel? You think you can fool me? Anyway. Oh, hold on, I hear people. Hold on, I hear people. No doubt about it. This is where the 
There's a lot of people, what the hell? Mask of Vengeance. Okay, so the mask is how Ethel controls them. Maybe we can save them, actually. Oh, this is Captain Grizzly. This is the one that runs the, the tavern. Okay, then. Let's see what we can do. There, is, there was like a trap here. Okay, yeah. Ah, come on, lads. It doesn't matter. Keep going. Yeah, she's the captain. You can't be in her special place. Let's kill it. Kill it and stuff it. For Auntie. This is so fucking weird. On, okay, ladies. so let's slit this land lover from head to heel. Okay, let's knock her out with non lethal damage, see if we can save her or something. Spill some blood. Right. This will live nicely. Ooh. No holding back. There was another guy out oh, here, it is. Hmm, I wonder if it's gonna hit the guy up up there. Oh, it's bugging, let's see. It did. I, I feel like it's been a while since I heard that song. Hack spawn. Mm, of course of terror. Will is really not prepared uh, no, build and gear. He's not really prepared for any of this. You see. It's really the one I, 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 I should have put on a better build or anything by now. Can't even catch my breath. Fuck. All right, ready? <coughs> For some reason, I can't get there. Okay, there he goes. How do I... I've missed this. I wonder if I can... My faith will protect me. Hold on, hold on. I cannot pickpocket her. So, what the... What do I even do? Right, so I can't... Pickpocket her mid fight. I mean, I, let's go for the non lethal then. Oh, non lethal is only melee, remember, remember that. I almost forget. Ooh. I wonder if it works with this weapon. It's a. Uh... It's a hellish weapon. Knocked out temporarily. Okay. Counting house. Ransom note. My dear sweet Captain Grizzly, I've heard stories about you and what tales uh, they were. 
of mighty battles and magnificent sea monsters. There's a woman who will never be caught with her knickers down, or so I thought. Imagine my surprise when I nabbed your precious bosom gannet from under your nose, and so easily. He's quite the resilient little bugger, and hasn't said a peep about you. But he'll break, they always do. Meet me in the Blushing Mermaid basement, and come along. Oh, so she had a kid as well? Ah, okay. Take it off. What? Oh, no. She died anyway, I guess. Mm, I don't get it. She died anyway. Well, lads, we tried. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. My darling, your, uh, your letter just about broke this old woman's heart. Uh, back to Berta, uh, they call you. Those monsters. Meet me tonight at the Plushy Mermaid and together we'll sort this all out. You start to feel beautiful, uh, Petal. And only I can make it happen. Okay, so she is also luring people that way. You know, like making uh, bargains and whatnot. Uh, you've been uh, you've been a silly thing, sweetie. Did I not warn you? Did I not tell you your uh, tell you death was coming? For wife and child both, but you didn't listen. And now the love of your life is rotting in the ground. I can't save her, but your babe, your sweet little babe, who is the image of her, I can save him if you're willing to pay the price. Okay. I imagine it never came to happen. So how many children did she turn? They showed up again, just like you said. They, uh, they would. They brought me. Stood me naked, then pissed on me. Uh, right in front of everyone. Uh, some people laughed, others looked away, but no one helped me. Not one person, except you. I'll do it. I'll cook your meals, make your bed, wash your feet, anything you want. So long as you hurt them. So long as you make them scream. I just have one request. Can I watch? Lol. Very well. So, with the masks, it's how she gets devotees. Right? Something I don't understand. It's the Dragonborn, the Draconid we met. He wasn't wearing any mask. Be Beholder's Iris. Mm. Ooh. Traps. How considerate. Wait, that's where we came from. Anything else here? I don't even know what we're missing. We're missing everything. Okay. Ooh, okay, it's a trap. Well, hello. We do have to Otherwise, we can blow. Can't give up now. Liver. That might be worth a look. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's a fucking basement. It was a fake wall. I mean, it was obvious. Oh. Ow. God, uh, gross. I told you, Petal, you can't hurt me without killing little Sandra. I have your feet, so do the heroic thing. Die. Right. So, a few things we read. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Don't worry. I know. Don't worry. Something we read in the books in the last episode. It's about this. These things. So, well, I don't even know, but this has to do something with the hag. So I'm assuming she cannot die unless we get rid of these things. There's three of them. Where's the other one? Oh, there. Right. So first of all, obviously, we don't want to kill her without. Uh, Well, without 
taking out the child. Where is it? Here. I'm gonna pass it on to him. I'm gonna do the thing. There it is. Magnificent. Oh. What did you? Oh, gross. Please found right. No. Stay down. Ah, uh, that's gross. You cost me a fresh young hat. I'm going to paint the wall with your guts, you little shit stain. All right. Oh, there it goes. Right. So we gotta make sure to kill these things as well. In the meantime, let's just... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> ah, there you are. There you are, easy. What should I do? I wonder if I... No if I get waste. here... Do I have the angle to... Mm, I don't. Can't even move. Yeah, no, I don't get the... The angle. That's too far away. Okay. Wow, she's leaving spores. Okay, guys, don't worry. Remember, if you get if you get confused by the hack, this is something I explained in the <laughs> in the old episode in, in thirteen. If you get confused by the hack because of the clones, first of all, we can't see the clones. That is because they are far away. If uh, my paladin is the only one who can see in the invisible. But they are around, and you can only see the real one actually. So it's not very, it's not very good strategy from her, really. But if you ever get confused, remember it's just the one. Uh, the portraits up in the screen don't change places, so it's this one. And yeah, the imp is not able to do nothing. But that's fine. Right, so I want to send Shadowheart here. Hopefully. Mm. Ah, uh, so fire makes more damage to them, okay. Where do I go from here? I'll tell you what. Just gonna go here. Definitely, fire does a lot more damage. Do I have an alchemist? I have nine. No hesitation. Hmm. Well, that's a lot more, isn't it? No, I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think it is. Okay, there, there she is. You see? Uh, nah. See, that one we can see because it's close to the Paladin. Oh no, they heal. Okay, Astarion has fire in the crossbow. Right. If I wanted my growth seen to petal, it wouldn't be you I'd call. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't like when we do that, huh? How quaint. 
This is my time. Uh... No time to waste. This one healed, didn't it? Yeah. Mm, no, I'm gonna have to send Starion here. Blood comes easy these days. Definitely. And I'm gonna go and kill her. Yeah, you see, she's not dead. She cannot be dead. Ah, no, because I have no lethal. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. She is dead. But, look at that. Bungal Resurrection. That is because we need to kill these things. Otherwise, she comes back to life. That one's dead. That one needs killing. Uh, she's back. <laughs> Don't worry, lads. We got this. Piece of peasant. Okay. Uh, let's send this guy to the other one. Starion is a beast right now. And he's not even the bad guy. Like when he's the bad guy. Like it's insanity how strong he is. I'm gonna push her off so Starion can move the next turn. Where'd she go? Survival is all that matters on my way. Hmm. Bloody clever clubs. Okay. We're not all too bad. She doesn't really make any damage now. Remember the, the first fight? That was insanity. No, we lost the quasit. <laughs> Fucking thing, it's Time to move. regenerating itself. Come on, there we are. Oh no, it booked. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, there we are. Yeah, yeah. We got you. Shit. You think I can't? Oh no. Okay. Here we are. Still on my feet. I can see you in invisible, can I? Yeah. It's this one, of course. Die. Uh, 
All right. She can't speak. Stop mumbling. Oh my god. What? Wait, where'd you gone? Okay, she's gone to, to her mom, I guess. Oh, Ring of Fate Wild Sparks. While your sorcerer's tides of chaos uh, feature is active, you will always trigger wild like search when casting a spell. Huh? Well, I don't know what that is. Uh, uh... Okay, I think Tides of Chaos, it's a Berserk thing, when you do the Magical Berserk. I could be wrong. Right, so there we are. Auntie Ethel, it's dead once and for all. No tricks this time. Legitimately dead. Look at that. Bah. Let's have a look around. Well, there's nothing really. Okay. Radio. We should go and and see about the about the child to their house probably. In any case, uh, I do want to use this uh, little space, um, empty moments of video to talk about the series and what's to come because lads, I cannot stress this enough. It is pretty intense. Like I'm preparing them videos uh, after this one. After recording this one, I'll be preparing them all. And lads, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird feeling. This is a behemoth of a series. It's the in the 13 plus years that I've been on YouTube. It's one of the things that I've done that I like the most. It's insane. Oh, everyone is dead. They were all... They were all fake. We know that. I've been really proud of this thing, this whole thing. I know nobody watches it, and it's it's not the way to grow. Obviously, if I wanted to grow, I'd be doing things to, you know, to surf the wave as pretty as everyone does, you know. Um, to to do this series, I put up the work, uh, the effort, and I've really enjoyed it. It's um, I've had uh, basically making text. On the episode before recording them, I did the research on lore. I prepared the episode to be uh, to make sense if we are going to discuss the Kitianki lore because we're going to a certain area. I take Lysel, I do the whole thing I can. I try to see different outcomes. Just as an example, I have a friend of mine playing with my notes on another run just to. Um, uh, to, to tell me what uh, what goes different according to what he's doing trying to come uh, to, to check all the all the perception inside and skill checks uh, just in case we don't get in the series so I can explain them um, and in the end this is as I said before my love letter to what it's now my favorite game ever it's been an experience. It's uh, it's been weird to be committed uh, for so long to one particular thing, and I really like how things went, and I'm really proud of this series. And once again, I would like to take a little moment and appreciate everyone that's been following the series, and to all of the all of you from the Discord server who just come here and click the like button. Because that helps a lot, that helps a lot. It really does. Now, I would like to show you, now that I'm here, I would like to show you something in particular. Uh, that has never happened to me. So we'll do it now. Let's see if it works. Right. So apparently... 
Oh, poor Will. He does not get a break today. Okay. This never happened to me before. And I know it was going to happen here. Uh, depending on the time and the resting. The last long rest I had. So. If you don't know what this is. I explain you the movie. I explain you the movie lads. That is a bank. Right? Counting house. We stole. No actually. I'm, I'm talking nonsense. I'm talking rubbish. It's about the place of worshipping gods. That that place to which we go and there was Mistra statue and Silver statue and all of that. We stole from that place's basement. We stole everything basically, right? So these are the devas. And when we when we stole from the from that, um, I don't know, temple. We got a condition. I don't even remember what it was. Doesn't even... Doesn't even show it to me. Well, I forgot. Maybe it's this guy. I mean, this guy has a lot of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. In any case, we got a cursed. That's the thing. So we do a short rest. Uh, after having a long rest, we do a short rest. Um, all after robbing that place. And these two idiots... I, I think it happens all the time now. From now on. Like, it's gonna happen several times. These guys are gonna show up and punish us. They make a lot of damage. They have good HP. And the weapon they have, apparently, I'm not entirely sure and I don't know how it's in current days. But it's the best weapon of the game, supposedly. <laughs> or the best bludgeoning weapon, I don't know. I always get a disadvantage, it seems. But I do believe this only happens in the city. Like if we were to do it in the under, uh, under city, I don't think it will happen. I'm not entirely sure though. But yeah, this is something that never happened to me, and I'm impressed because I do not recall not robbing the, the that place particularly. I have a very bad, bad team put together when it comes to, uh, when it comes to damage. You know what I mean? It's not really good. Okay. And just for those of you who are still watching in this very moment. Next episode. It's an insane revelation. And we also get one of the best weapons in the game, in my opinion. I think it's uh, I think it's actually the best weapon in the game. I don't know if there is any better than that. Poor Will. Yeah, and apparently there is people who has been trying to get the weapon somehow. I don't know how you can do that. Let's see what they got. Well, they have nothing. That's the thing. They never have nothing. But there is people who can get that weapon. I don't know how they do it. In any case. Enough dilly dally. Let's go to... Um, 
This is Laura's house. She can't speak anymore. You won't have a word. You brought her back. You brought back my sweet, sweet girl. How was my problem to deal with? It was everything. I'll never forget it. Here. A token from the pirate life I left behind. Thank you for being braver than half this city put together. Nah. <laughs> Holy shit. Everything is going to be all right. Legendary. I promise. Mommy. That's Amulet of the Wind that's Rider. Right. There are three transmutation spell, guts of wind. Well, an amulet. It's not bad. Duelist prerogative. This is a rapier. Oh, this is really good. Main hand only. Elegant duelist. Uh, while your off hand is empty, you score a critical hit. When you roll a 19, moreover, you gain an additional reaction per turn. With it cut. On a hit with a melee weapon, use a reaction to deal additional necrotic damage equal to your proficiency bonus. And then it has challenge to duel and dueler's enthusiasm. Oh, the kid is traumatized. This is really good for a dex warrior like Minsk. Or maybe we could do a Dex Warrior of Lay Cell or something like that. For the next episodes. Hold on. I'm gonna do a... Can I? Can I even... Oh. Right, that's a little bit better. Let's go see about Marina. Oh, it's true. We supposedly shouldn't have killed Auntie Ethel because Marina wanted to revive Connor. Connor cannot be revived, I wager. That's impossible. There is no magic in this world that can do that. You can only bring them back like that, though. She's dead, isn't she? Ethel is dead. Yep. She's not concerned about Connor. Fuck you for telling me I'd be an awful mom. That I was nothing but a pregnant halfwit. Oh, and the girl? You saved her too, right? Yeah, traumatized indeed. Oh, thank the gods. You Poor girl Connor? cannot even speak. Ethel is dead. Oh, you didn't change back you're still a, a zombie i thought with ethel gone never mind i'll i'll find another way to turn you back so, <laughs> i don't think that's possible quite frankly oh i can do this he's never going to be human again I reckon this is the best uh, way to handle things, quite frankly. I mean, the poor guy is decaying. I know. Damn it. I know, Connor. I love you. I've loved you since we were kids. And you picked me bluebells and asked me to the summer fair. But you're gone. And this thing isn't you. Not anymore. Then why does it feel so terrible? I mean, it was about time, lads. Let's be honest. <sighs> Marina was becoming yeah. a little bit of a. Thank you for killing Ethel. Of a numb skull. But I'd like you to go now. I'll be fine. I know I'm stronger than this. I just need some time. Another very rare. Holy shit! Face semblance. 
You have advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Okay. A few amulets. It's not bad. Let's see about these guys. Clint can't believe you killed the anti Ethel. You're amazing. You know what? I think I am. I think I actually am. What about the paladin cleric? Should you ever have a need of a cleric of helm, I shall be there. You have my word. Very well then. Anything else, you? Yes. We're finally free from Ethel. Thanks to you. I can't wait to start living again. And so it comes to an end, lads. This whole quest. Uh, okay. So. I don't want to... Can I rest without being attacked? Yeah. Okay. So. If you've been watching the whole video... Oh, it's a long fucking video. I didn't expect it to be this long. Quite frankly, I thought it was going to be 20 minutes. If you watch the whole thing entirely... I just want to let you know that um, next episode there's going to be a huge revelation. We're going to start closing up um, a few things. And from the next episode and, and everything that comes after that, starting on the next episode, we are just going to be addressing last um, last bit of stuff left to do it's gonna be charge of lore it's gonna be charge of uh, storytelling it's gonna be very good and i i don't know that's i don't know why i'm speaking so weird i just really feel that uh, it's slightly bittersweet feeling because it's um it's been such a big fucking series and, and it's been a while it's been three months of this trying to put up a video daily so yeah thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you next time. Take care, lads.